Hi everyone. Okay, so on one of my other um, multiplication videos, someone commented that they were having trouble with this problem, 12 times 12. And so I'm going to show you how to do this using the counting method um, on the Cranmer Abacus. Okay, so let's give this a try. So when we use the counting method, we start on the far left hand side and that's where we write our multiplicand. So I'm going to write my multiplicand starting here. It's a one in the tens column and a one, two in the ones column of the multiplicand. It's not set in any sort of place value. It's just set on the far left-hand side of the abacus. Okay, and then I'm going to start on my right-hand side, the far right-hand side of the abacus, and I'm going to say each digit and the multiplication sign as I move from the right to the left. So I say one, two times one, two, and I end up here in the 10 thousands column, and that's where I write my multiplier, which is 12, which is a one in the tens column and a one, two. So we're not in a place value here. We're just writing it as 12 wherever we ended up after we set our digits and our multiplication sign moving to the left. Okay, so now to multiply, I'm going to start here in the with the two of the multiplier. I'm going to put my left index finger on that to read it and I'm going to put my right index finger directly to the right of the column I'm working on. So here I have the two and I'm going to multiply that two by one. Two by one, the one in the multiplicand, which is the tens digit of the multiplicand. Okay, and I get two times one is two but it's a zero two. Whenever I have a single digit in my multiplication answer, it's a zero then that digit. So it's a zero two. So I say zero as I touch the rod that my right index finger is working on, and then two. I end up in the tens column and I set two there, one, two. Now I'm gonna leave my right index finger in that column, in that tens column, and I'm going to use my left index finger to read my next multiplication, which is two times two. 2 times 2 is 4, but it's not just 4, it's a 0 4, remember? Because if we have a single digit, we'd say 0. So I say 0 as I touch the rod I'm in, and I move to the next rod and say 4. And I set 4 there. 1, 2, 3, 4. With the counting method, I count each bead as I go. And I'm done multiplying the 2 in my multiplier, so I'm going to clear that. And I'm going to move my right index finger directly to the right of the column I'm working in, and the column I'm working in is that one of my multiplier, which is the tens digit of what was there as the multiplier. So I'm gonna multiply one times one. So I'm multiplying the one of the multiplier that's left here times the one in the multiple can. One times one is one, but remember it's a zero one. So every time I have a single digit, I say zero and then the digit. So I touch the rod I'm working in with my right index finger and I say zero, one. And I set that one as I'm in the hundreds column. Okay, so now I'm going to do the last step in my multiplication, which is to multiply the one times the two. The one of the multiplier times the two of the multiple can. So one times two is two. And so it's not just a two though, it's a zero two, remember? So as I touch the rod that my right index finger is working in, I say zero and I move it over to the right and that's where I set the two. And there's already two there and I can set two more, one, two. So I'm adding them into there. Before I can read my product here, I'm gonna clear my multiplier and I get my product, which is my answer, and it's 144. And that's how you do 12 times 12, two digit by two digit multiplication on the abacus using the counting method.